Hey Stampers, it's Gaina again. I've been uh, having a play with my new stamp. I haven't played with it yet, but it's, I have today. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's called Accented Blooms, if you didn't know already. <laughs> but I just, I wanted something nice and light and airy and something not too in your face. So I chose Pineapple Punch, believe it or not. Oh, I've got a bit of black on my card. And this is the card I've done. Love the ribbon. Love the design of series paper. And I might just stamp this because inside the the, ba uh, the bag, you get the negative space for here. So I'm going to use that just to stamp my green because I was gifted some lovely, 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 lovely things. And uh, I want to use one of the little gifted items, which is these gorgeous word, wooden words that say love. So I'm going to replace the thank you with a with little wooden love instead of thank you. Isn't that just gorgeous? I believe these can be um, stamped, uh, stamped, inked on. They can be, let me just grab some paper. And now my pen's gone A wall. Oh gosh, everything. Um, I believe you can use crafting to lift the spirit the spirit oh gosh now we my crafting's got stuck in the back of my little tray there it is it's coming my gorgeous little stars um so i'm gonna see if i can it will take a little while to dry as well see so Hey, well, we'll use. Oh, there's a good idea, Gainer. Uh, I'm going to use my aqua pen, but I'm going to use it dry. So I'm squeezing the moisture out. And I'm going to whitewash this with white crafting. And this is Hero. Uh, these are Hero Arts White Pigment Ink and it's really, really good. Don't get me wrong stamping up to one, but I find it doesn't do it so well for me. Unless I'm using it all wrong, I don't seem to be able to... It goes blotchy and then it dries pale and yucky in. I bought this one last week and tried it out a few times and it is beautiful and this is unicorn white so it's a really nice bright white and it will fade a little bit but I'm not fussed I just want that whitewash look and I can just clean my bristles on my little rag which I adore There we go, clean as. So I'm making sure it's bone dry, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lift some more of that colour up, and I'm just gonna give it a couple of coats. So we, while this is drying, we can get on with the card. Isn't that beautiful? Against that granny apple green, I think that looks absolutely stunning. And if it's not quite dry, then I'll heat set it with my heat tool. And I'm just cleaning off my bristles. Fabulous, that's done. All nice and clean, dry brush again. Pop my lid on. Yeah, this is Pigment Ink, Hero Arts Unicorn White. Recommended by Jennifer Maguire. So I thought I'd give it a go, and it tell you what, it's fabulous. So, putting it back in my rack. So I'm going to leave that to dry over there. <gasps> fabulous! And then, so I will just do plain granny apple green into 
the triangle, cut that out. It will have a little white border like this one, which is what I want. But isn't that beautiful? Nice and fresh and I think it's just adorable. So, right, what you're going to need, you're going to need uh, a strip of scrap. You're going to want one for the inside, one for the outside, your beautiful card, which is eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. And just fold it in half on the trimmer, which gives me a lovely clean edge. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my apple granny, apple granny, granny apple green. <laughs> And I'm going to stamp things that I need to dry out first and I make sure that's... So don't throw these images away, these negative spaces. Just keep them handy. I'm just hoping. It looks a bit blotchy. That looks... Okay, so... Let the paper absorb all that ink that looks cool don't worry about that it looks absolutely cool to me I could do another one my stomach's rumbling I'm not even hungry. Oh, let's go back over that. With this, see, I've it literally is just inking where it's touching, so I can go back over it. That's much better. Much better. I always keep the negative spaces just in case of things like this, so we can put our own sentiments on. Isn't that fabulous? Right, the inside of my card is going to have this gorgeous little detail. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a tiny little love heart on it. I'm going to stamp and show you. It's just adorable. And then we're going to use some... Well, what I'm going to try and do... I guess them two squares. Because this is for three and seven eighths. I have a fraction down either side. And I know that line up there then is the centre of my card. So, another one down here. That's it for this... Uh, for the inside of the card. Grab my triple banner punch, triple banner, uh, my triple corner punch, and I'm going to round off two of the ends. This is the second time I've filmed this card, it's just that my memory card was full. When my husband passed it to me out of his phone, he didn't empty it, so I was filming two things. I was going to film three, and then it kept flashing at me, telling me there's something wrong, something wrong, something wrong. And I was like, what can it be? Because I've only done two videos. And it chopped the video I was doing for this one in half and just cut it off. It's let me carry on recording for 16 minutes, but only recorded to the memory card for, for 10. So um, hmm, this is my second attempt. <laughs> so let's get these cut out. Should be dry now. Oh, it's got perfect border all the way around. That looks good to me. And that's that bit done. So these are ready. I can pop that inside my card later. So now we can get... Oh, we're going to stamp, stamp, stamp now with this beautiful leaf pattern. It's just adorable. Very bright in here. I do so. I uh, do apologise about the lighting. And I'm keeping this right close to the edge. These are going to be at the bottom of my page, so I'm going to start up the top again. Just so adorable. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely adorable. I love it. So, oops, there goes my stamp. <laughs> well, I must be a little bit rough handed with that. I do apologise. They don't normally fly off like that. They do allow you to clean them. <coughs> Sorry. So, 
as they're clean. Now, I think we've finished with this for now. I'll tell you what I have got to get out. My designer series of paper. Because I need a piece. the wrong one. There it is. I need this. One and an eight. For my... This is going to be three by one and an eight. That's all you need. This is for this little strip at the bottom and you can have it this way or you could have the stripes. Absolutely adorable. I forgot all about that. So now we've got that. Let's go put the trimmer away. Fetching this gorgeous stamp. Oh my gosh, I love this. Just a double coffee time. Oh. Mmm. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So because this is a big stamp. Stamp. I'm fetching the ink to the stamp. And I'm leaving about uh, maybe an inch and a half up. So that's about there. So I know not to stamp below that line there. So where is it? about here <sighs> look how beautiful that image is it's just stunning I love this so much so I'll give that a chance to dry for a sec while I clean my stamps off fingers crossed I won't have to do this video again. <laughs> Pop them over there, out the way. Perfect, look, I get that. This is three and seven eighths, so they've got that tiny, they've even got enough to put that little rim at the bottom. So that's perfect, so we'll attach that later. And I'm gonna fetch in, I'm only using three colors. I'm using Granny Apple Green, Pineapple Punch, Daffodil Delight, Pineapple Punch, and Mango Melody. So, I'm going to start with the green. Using the thin end to do the stalks. Oops. And I'm going to shade with my pen as well. Let me just get that little bit there. Oh, I would try and zoom in, but no my luck. I'd get it all wrong, and then I just end up doing the video again. I don't know if you can hear him. He gets so loud when he's on the phone. I'm sure he thinks because they live round the corner or somewhere like that, he's got to shout to them. And he gets very loud on the phone. So, and I can't pause. These are my leaves. I'm going to let them dry for a second as well and I'm going to show you how you can shade with these. Just your markers. Yeah, just by going back over with a felt pen you end up getting a darker image. So that is perfect for your shading. Who needs blends? No, I do. I love them. Can't wait till the other colours come back out. So I've coloured that now, but I want to give that, I want to highlight that vein. And there, so I'm just going over the vein. I'll lift the card up in a minute to show you. And the more times you go over, the darker it becomes. So if I lift that up now and show you. You can see it's a little bit darker. I do apologise apologize about the light in here. It's, it is absolutely terrible. So, I'm going to use the melon mango. I'm going to do the same on this flower. I'm going to 
show you that you can get shading with this as well. So I'm trying to just keep one coat. Oh, excuse me. This card is going to be done in no time. So that's that flower coloured. I'm going to go back to that in a second and show you what I did. I'm not going to colour the centre on this one. But I'm going to go back after and highlight these bits. I want to add a bit of... These are going to be a totally different colour but I want the centres this colour. So now we've coloured our flower, it looks okay, but we're just going to go back over the lines and make them darker. And the lines are there for shading, so that's what I'm going to do. And then in the centre, I'm just going to brighten them up. Just keep going over. And now look, it's really shaded that card, and even though it's still the same colour pen, you can do that on here. And the same on that one. Isn't that beautiful? And it'll stay that dark as well. So now for my pineapple punch. I love this colour. So I've got two of these cards now that say thanks, <laughs> thank you, and the other ones, they say, they, well this one's going to say love, because I think you do love the person you're going to send the cards to. I know I wouldn't send a card to somebody I didn't love. <laughs> so it's perfect wording. So I thank the person who sent it to me. So again, back in with the, the mango melody. Ooh, I can't see that end. It's not doing anything for me. Right, get some colour in there. And now those two little flowers there, they're going to be in Daffodil Delight. Slightly different colour yellow, but in between this mango melody and pineapple punch and you've got all these different shades of flowers now just beautiful that's gorgeous oh my god that's our colouring done I'm going to pop dimensionals on here Gonna go on there. Where's my little pot? There it is. Missed the pot then. Oh look, it's sticking to my fingers. That's a perfect negative space. Well, it is its negative space. That's just fantastic. Oh, that is so pretty. Right, um, do you want the stripes or the dots? I want the dots because I think this, it just looks absolutely beautiful. And nice, even border. Love it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, this card is. Right, I need to get some little gems. Oh, I need to attach my card first, that would help. Love 
fast for you. It's so strong. Making sure we got our card open in the right way. Whoops. That's better. Oh, and I've got to put the inside in. That would help as well. <laughs> upside down then. Oh, disastrous. I'd have had to do it again. <laughs> I've done this, uh, like I'm saying, I've done this three times now. So I should be a, not a, a master it right now. And I've put it in upside down, haven't I? I will rectify that later. I don't think it really matters. My, my, uh, my love art's upside down. Oh, play, 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 play. <laughs> So, here's that beautiful word, and it seems to be okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my Tombow. And I'm just going to add a thin streak of glue, because this stuff is brilliant. Covered in Mella Mango ink. And I'm going to place this. Right on that. Isn't that a perfect fit? Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. Just stunning. Oh my gosh, I love it. So, I'm going to decorate now the top half of this card with rhinestones. I was going to put one there, but I'm just going to now, I'm going to put one here. No. About there. I love this. Oh my gosh. And now we've got this beautiful new ribbon. And it's the gorse green ribbon and it comes in all the new in colours. This is the pineapple punch. Absolutely stunning. So we're going to do little bunny ears. And now yeah, me tying bows, isn't it? <laughs> I thought you, you thought I was going on then. I think that might not be long enough. Oh, I don't know. Is that too small? Yeah, let's get the bow maker out. Because Gainer, you've got to do it properly. Don't do half-hearted jobs. I'd sooner cut it a little bit off and know I've got enough than not cut anything off and try and save a fraction of an inch. So... It's another warm day here in sunny Swansea. It's like... I think it's been 31 degrees today. A little bit more of a breeze we've had. But, oh. You can, you can adjust these while it's on here. You can't do it when it's off. So, I'm going to... Perfect. Absolutely, that's the only little bit of waste I've got, so that can go in my little tin. And then we can attach this beautiful little bow. You could have it anywhere on your card, but I want it just sitting right there. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to wrap that up because it's a tiny bow. Back. 
Oops, there we go. Oh, I love it. Love it. I can manipulate those later. To stay in down. But there's our card again. Oh my gosh, I love it. So this is the one I did earlier with the thank you. This is the one I've just done with the wooden love. They both absolutely stunning. And this is the very first one I did. <laughs> Already wrapped and ready to go. So we've got a light, slightly longer bow. The bows tend to get smaller look. <laughs> but just so adorable. I hope you like. I hope you give a thumbs up and a, uh, a share. And I hope you press the subscribe button and the little bell. That way you'll be notified of all future videos. I do tend to post every single day. And yeah, come back tomorrow after you've pressed that bell and see what we've got for tomorrow. Love it. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.